So we have some information regarding the returning legendary Pokemon that are going to come into the Indigo Disc DLC, which is the part two DLC of Scarlet and Violet. So a few days ago, some data mines came out about 25 legendary Pokemon coming back into the game. I have a picture on the screen. I'm I'm hyped for a lot of these, to be honest. Like Rayquaza, of course, is like a fan favorite. Kiram, we got Reshiram, Zekrom. We got some strong legendary Pokemon coming in. This is a pretty good list of legendaries, in my opinion. So in the data mine, there's some weird information going on. So I guess within the data mine itself, these Pokemon like specifically weren't in the files, but like items regarding these Pokemon, items that have some connection with these legendary Pokemon were in the file, meaning these Pokemon are the ones that are coming into the game. Like these are the returning legendary Pokemon, but there are a few things that I am kind of curious about within all of these legendary Pokemon coming into the game. This is going to be a shorter video too, guys, but I'm not trying to change my whole channel into like some leak channel. I like these leaks, there's just so much cool information and stuff going on right now, so I figured it's kind of fun to make these videos, and you guys seem to be enjoying them as well, so I promise I'm not completely changing my channel to a leak channel. Also, really quickly guys, I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 10,000 subs for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card, so all I have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video, comment down below, let me know you want to be in the giveaway, stay tuned for future videos, and subscribe to the channel, and then you'll be entered, and then when I actually hit 10,000, I'll be announcing that giveaway winner. So one interesting thing about these Pokemon, or the legendary Pokemon, is that they're not static encounters, so you can't do like some shiny, soft resets, and that also begs the question like will these be shiny like are they shiny locked i don't think that they would be shiny locked i can't imagine them shiny locking all the legendary pokemon maybe a few of them but i feel like shiny locking these legendaries would be a disservice to so many people because there's first of all so many big youtubers that love doing shiny hunting videos and they're very entertaining i'd personally love to watch some people shiny hunt all of these legendary pokemon or at least as many as they possibly can because that's just really cool you know a shiny legendary shiny pokemon are really cool legendary pokemon are really cool put them together that's just that's just some really cool content some neat gameplay right there so i guess we'll probably know within a few days if they're shiny locked or not the dlc part two is actually coming out really really soon and the way that you get these pokemon isn't directly known but it looks like you're gonna have to have some type of item Hence, you know, the items that are named after these 25 legendary Pokemon. You're probably going to have to have some type of item to somehow either spawn them or get access to them. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to be able to battle them and catch them. But they're not static encounters. And we're going to have to have a specific item. And then somebody in the replies down here said, Oh, the vending machine makes sense now. You buying items that could spawn legendary Pokemon from a vending machine, something like Rainbow Wing, Silver Wing, Clear Ball, etc. So earlier in the month, or I guess a few weeks ago, uh, Riddler Q tweeted a picture of like a vending machine, you know, how he riddles, he puts like clues and hints towards whatever the actual leak is. So maybe we're going to have some type of vending machine where we buy items to access the legendary Pokemon. That's actually kind of a neat idea right there. I'm excited to get some more information about that because I'm really interested and really curious about this because I kind of want to hunt all the legendary Pokemon. It's just something fun to do and it's just some extra content and extra gameplay that they give us. I'm really hyped about that because like 25 returning legendary Pokemon, that is pretty cool. And of course, somebody else replied and said, where are my ultra beasts? That's yeah, I, I wish we had the ultra beasts coming in. So that'd be really cool. Maybe they'll add them later in 2024. Probably not. I don't really know if we're getting any more Scarlet and Violet DLC or like major updates next year. There were also some rumors that suggested like a part three and four DLC that are going to come out next year. I highly doubt that. I think that is just complete speculation. I mean, I know, I know by like the sound of it, the way of just like spending some type of currency or trading some type of item in a vending machine to receive an item to access the legendaries does sound kind of weird, but I'm sure it's more in depth than that. Because like with Dynamax Adventures, you can shiny hunt. Um, so I'm going to assume you probably will be able to shiny hunt these. I At least I really hope. That's the biggest concern. I don't know why they even shiny lock Pokemon. It just doesn't make sense. It's so stupid. Why would you shiny lock Pokemon? There's no reason to do that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. And I'll see you guys in the next one.